if it is made up of silk so this silk if it touch with our hand we can feel a characteristics of like it is very soft is it yes or no ra it is very very yes sir understand characteristics of silk fine as well as if you try to see that one one thread if uh, sometimes sari it will come out from the sari if you try to break it it will cut our even hands also is it a, yes, sir, no. that much very strong it is yes sir yes so that is why it is very fine and strong s yes, t r o n g strong i will say the definition you know it to worry first listen so somebody will ask yes, what is silk you should say it is fine strong as well as if you touch it you will you will feel soft or not is it soft or not yes sir yeah, it is soft. yes sir and as well as you will see it is shining in nature do you observe silk sarees are shining Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. No. Soft and yes, sir. shining in nature. So these are the characteristics of silk. If we we'll take any kind of silk, silk is fine, strong, soft, and shining in nature. So which is produced by? Where it is coming? Can you able to say silk is silk worm? Silk worm. Silk worms. Name itself. It is there. Wool is coming from sheep. and goat and all like silk is coming from understand silk is coming from yes sir coming from silk worm what we should call silk worm understand kaushik silk worm who is producing the who is producing yes, sir silk worm kaushik who is producing sir silk worm ha huh? silk worms what we should call silk worm silk worm silk worm cocoons understand in making their cocoons yes, cocoons sir. means i will show you like in a sense of like egg shape they will make like this so that is only called as cocoons so from that only we is to get the understanding a silk thread do you understand ra yes sir now if it comes to the hindi language because hindi is our national language the silk is a english word if it comes to the hindi this silk we is to called as resham understand r e s h a m resham in hindi we is to known as silk is known as what resham so why resham in telugu also in telugu also telugu also we is to called as pattu telugu we can called pattu pattu chira sari means chira tamil what we should call pattu chira silk sari what is it called उट In Telugu, that leaves called as resham. Resham aku. Aku means Telugu leaf. So that resham in Telugu we can call the resham aku. Uh, what we can uh, feed them, feed the silk worms. I don't know in Tamil, but in Hindi. Sir, one means, doubt, sir. Yeah, ask me. Sir, in Hindi, silk means resham, sir. Yes, in in Hindi, silk means resham. We used to call it as resham. Yeah, okay, sir. Okay. So now. Yes, sir. Let us see. This is what it is called as silk. Now you can observe. First, listen, Kaushik. Don't write. I will let. I will write. So, if you observe here, the silk is coming from uh, nature, or uh, we are making. Silk is coming from nature. Or we nature. Are nature. 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 Yes. It is coming nature. from the silk worms. It is coming from nature, so that it is called as natural fiber. What we should call? It natural is, fiber. Natural fiber. This is why it is called as natural fiber. Natural What? fiber. Natural fiber. Natural fiber. Obtained from an insect called as. What is that insect name called as? Silkworm. Silkworm. Insect. Understand? Insect family called as silk moth. What is it called? Silk moth. Silkworm. Silkworm. Silk. Later only it will turns into silk worm. Understand, Ra? Mari. First one, the basic one, we used to call as silk moth. Okay, Ra? So 
silk is coming warm. from the animal silk okay so you remember silk warm only okay mari sir no sir that is silk moth sir moth moth actually yes, sir. Uh, it is a different stages correct uh, mari yeah. yes sir from uh, it will become a it butterfly like actually that is called as that is insect family which is known as silk moth understand yes sir later grown up one it will turns into it will get the flies uh, got uh, wings and all so that is used to called as silk worms okay va wow. yes sir okay now you can yes, see sir. is it a animal family or plant family ra is it animal family animal family hari animal, animal family animal family we can call this one as a animal fiber what we can call fiber Animal fiber. Animal fiber. That is the reason. That is so it is animal fiber because it is animal family, insect family. So that is why it is called as animal fiber. Now, yeah, the silk. The silk is only called as silk fiber. It is a natural fiber. Is it yes or no? So it yes, is sir. fiber. So the silk fiber, yes. do you know that which is made up of with what? It is made up of understanding protein. It is made up of what? Protein. Made up of protein. They will ask you the question. Which one, sir? Which one, sir? Fiber. That silk. That silk is made up of protein. That thread, whatever it is coming, Mari. It is made up of yes, protein. Do you understand, Hari? Which is the protein, sir? Which is the protein? Silk, silk fiber. Yes, silk fiber. That thread, ba thread, Mari. Ah. That yes, is sir. made how, up of protein. How that protein is coming, sir? Because it is released by silk worms. Silk worms will make the uh, the silk thread by using uh, proteins. They will eat food, correct? Okay, sir. Yeah, that yes, is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You understanding? That is. That yes, is sir. The silk worm. The silk worm. Suppose, see, you are eating food. You are getting carbohydrates, fats, proteins, amino acids, so many, so many things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. So in that protein. Yes, sir. Like whatever this uh, silk moth is eating, so that uh, leaves contains uh, more amount of proteins. So that proteins only they are making this into silk worms, uh, silk fiber. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you can see here, it is very very strongest. Is it yes or no? We cannot even uh, try to break with our hands. It will even cut our fingers yes. off. Yes. That is why. Yes, sir. The silk is called as strongest natural fiber. What we can call? Silk is strongest the strongest natural, natural, strongest natural fiber. fiber. All the points you should write. Strongest natural, strongest natural fiber. Anyhow, again I will write. Strongest natural fiber it is. And if you will see fiber. the looks, how it will looks rough? Is it will looks very uh, soft or is uh, very uh, rough, coarsey? Is it very soft or very coarsey? Very, very soft, very soft in nature. That is what the another next property. So, the soft looking silk yarn is a strong as comparable thread of steel. You can see that you can make a thread with the steel. Do you know steel? Metal, metal. You know, Mari. Yes, sir. Okay. So yes, sir. Make a small thread with the steel. The silk both are even. Both are the same strength. Uh, that much strongest. That is why it is called as uh, understanding king of uh, natural fibers. Okay, yes, sir. very very strong. Okay, strongest. Come, you imagine like I have made a steel steel wire, steel pipe fiber, and as a steel fiber in the sense of a very very small thick wire. So if you will try to break it, steel is it possible to break it? No, sir. No, the same no, way. Sir. We cannot, no, we cannot break the silk thread also. That much very strong. Understand? So, yes, let sir. the silk fibers only converting into silk yarn. They are converting into what? Silk yarn. Silk, silk yarn. yarn. Why we are making yarns? Because these uh, fibers are making again twisting into yarns so that it is uh, we can increase the strength so that with that silk yarns only we can go for silk cloth. We can go for what? Silk Cloth. Silk cloth. In the sense of sarees and some other something we can make dresses, sarees and all. So this silk cloth only we can use to make it for sarees and other dresses and all, etc., etc., which is made up of silk. So this is only called as what is silk and where it is coming and what is the properties of silk. Now 
Let me ask. Somebody will ask me the question. What is silk and what is the properties of silk? Can you able to say? Yes, sir. It no. is the strong, no, strongest strong natural fiber. It is made up of what? And it is very it's soft. It is very soft. It is made up of silk. And it is made up of made up of silk moth. Ray made up made silk moth. It is made up of what? It is made up of proteins. Understanding? Protein, protein, protein. Yeah. It is made yes, up sir. of proteins, and this is the natural protein. fiber, and it is under animal fiber. Understanding? Strongest natural fiber. Yes, sir. Not looking yes, silky, sir. but it is understanding strong as a comparable thread of steel. Understand? It is the strength. The strength of yes, this silk. Is equals to the steel, so that is why the silk yarns, the silk fibers later converting into silk yarns, and silk yarns are making the cloth, silk cloth. So that silk cloth only we are using in wear sarees and other Saris. dresses. Understand? So that is only yes, part silk. So now let us write first. All of you write silk definition. Definition. Now neatly write it. While I'm teaching, don't write. Now while I'm saying to write, you write it. Understand, Ra? Right. Silk is a fine. Kaushik, you must learn definition. Silk is a fine. You are kids, so that only I'm teaching very slowly. Hari, are you understanding? Silk is a fine. What is the tell me properties, Mari? Fine, strong. Silk is a fine, strong, <laughs> soft. Soft. And Soft. Strong, soft, and shining. Soft and shining. Shining. Fiber. Shining fiber. Shining fiber. Produced by whom? Produced by. Produced by. This is first point. Understand? Produced by silk worms. Are silk moth? You can write. Both are correct. Silk worms. In making their cocoons, in making their cocoons, I will say you what is cocoons. We will study that. Don't worry. Understand that cells, it will make like a small balls. Yes or no? That is only called as cocoons. Okay, ra? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. So this yes, is sir. called as what? In Hindi, silk is known as? Silk is Resham. 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 R-E-S-H-A-M. Resham -E -S -H -A -M. in Hindi. Resham in Hindi. That is second point. Next third point. Silk is a what? Natural fiber. Silk is a... Yes, sir. Silk is a strongest natural fiber. Strongest... Natural, what single point you should write all. Natural as well as it is what? Animal or plant fiber? Animal fiber. Animal fiber. Animal fiber. Single statement, everything covered. Is it a yes or no? Natural yes, animal fiber. Understand? That is. Next. Silk is made up of what? Silk is. Silk is ma made up of. Protein. 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 Pro made of a protein. Made of protein. Next, last point. So, if you'll observe here, so silk fibers converting into what? Silk converting fibers. into silk, silk yarns. Converting into silk yarns. Silk yarns. Silk yarns. Yarns. Understanding threads. So, this silk yarns is converting into silk cloth. Silk cloth. Silk cloth. Later, silk cloth we can use to make in what? Saris and dresses. Understand, Ra? Yes, sir. Spelling yes, C R I S. Saris. Yes, yes sir. Saris and dresses. Do it. Ray Kaushik, write neatly and uh, you have to learn also. Understand, Ra Kaushik? Yes, sir. Mm, do it. Yes or not? Later, uh, you, you know, correct? Very seriously, you have to study. Okay, wow. now you are 7th class, 6th over. Okay? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, is it completed? Hari? Hari? 
yes sir hmm. now yes sir as you know that when we are uh, growing the sheep who is to call as sheep ya and rs who is to call as rearing of sheep like that if you are growing the chicken chicken in the sense of like uh, small chicks and all that is used to called as what fowl tree is it yes or no yes or no ra uh, what yes. sir what sir fowl tree sir fowl tree farm fowl fowl tree farm chickens used to called as fowl tree farm understand like that if you are growing okay. fish we used to called as what fish fish culture. fish fishy culture understand like culture yes sir if you are growing the silk silk worms if you are growing the silk worms then that is called as siri culture what do you should call siri culture siri culture rearing what is the meaning of rearing ga last last class i have told you what is the meaning of rearing rearing means rearing means uh, look after the sheep sir yeah required required uh, see like sheep if will take food uh, shelter and all you have to provide like the silk worms also they cannot grow normally correct we have to provide food as well as shelter and yes, everything sir. so that is only called as rearing of silk worms yes sir that will be rare sir yes so that culture name growing that silk worms in a particular place that is only called as seri culture what we should call seri culture seri culture so seri culture silk worms for obtaining silk is only called as seri culture so what is the meaning of this seri culture means okay. just seri means silk culture means farming that's all so seri culture means silk farming somebody will ask you what is seri culture what you will say silk farm that's all agriculture means what you should say agriculture farming is it yes or no i am a farmer means in the sense of i am farming the different kind of crops so like that if i am farming the sil uh, silk silk worms then i can say silk farming what i should do silk farming silk farming, silk farming. what you should call sericulture what you should call sericulture and sericulture in india in our india sericulture is a very 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 old occupation in india occupation means what what is the meaning of occupation mother uh, occupation occupation what is your of mother occupation yeah. something additional is like that you will say correct like that it is yes, the sir. oldest job understanding our of our indian ancients it is coming from long back so many of our indians they are depending on this silk farming so india produces lot of silk lot of silk on commercial scale what is the meaning of commercial scale general market use discuss what is the meaning of commercial scale means in a sense commercial scale market. means how much they are uh, they selling that uh, for selling purpose they are producing the silk worms that is only called as commercial scale for selling commercial properties now uh, getting the money understand that is so yes sir now, before we go further and describe the process of this obtaining silk like that yesterday last class we have studied how we are getting the a wool from the sheep different steps uh, different steps shearing sowing next one sorting next one d uh, next one c dyeing the combing last spinning ah yes. uh, spinning spinning so, process like that silk is also directly silk worms will come or ah, take the silk they are not giving the silk directly so we have to do some process so that process what is the process how we need to get the silk and what is the life history of silk moth where it has been started that is all we'll study in the continuous lectures now first we should sir that is only called uh, sericulture sir the process of the silk worm the history of uh, what is the life cycle of history uh, life cycle of silk moth where it has been discovered first yes, understand who is the largest producer of silk like that understand that is all yes. we will study now you write the rearing of silk worms the rearing of silk worms the rearing of next point the rearing of rearing means what growing understand that is what providing yes. food and all is called as health conditions is called as rearing that is what you remember rearing rearing of silk worms rearing of silk worms for obtaining why we are rearing of them for obtaining what cow sheep for obtaining what Up for obtaining silk 
for obtaining silk silk understand for obtaining silk silk is called what is it called is called silk agriculture agriculture that is do you understand or not so what is the yes, agriculture what, what sir agriculture farming sir, silk farming yes sir silk farming silk farming seri means silk culture means farming f o r m i n g silk farming so that is the meaning of this do you understand ra right? yes sir read these two points both yes sir hello hey koshik what happened you escaped sir no sir uh, right what is why we are sir, having, why we are uh, rearing the silk worms what is the purpose to get sir, sir after why ra you wait ra the kaushik will say why ra kaushik we are uh, cultivating this uh, siri uh, silk worms uh, for getting what for sari. getting the, for getting food ah no i am getting sari sir getting sari yeah. oh sari last ra uh, we are getting silk first silk we will get do you understand from the silk worm silk. yeah silk worm yeah first from the silk we will get uh, understanding silk fiber silk, silk fiber so the silk fiber converting into silk yarn that silk yarn converting into silk cloth that cloth we are using in sarees and uh, dresses understand ra how is it yes sir ah before this point you have written that man you see again you forget every time what is this ra how is it Hey, Mary. Because uh, Kausik is little bit slow learner, so that I will repeat few times. Don't worry. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. So now let us go for next life history of silk moth. Like you can say, for example, let us see Kausik the uh, long life cycle of yeah long back. If you see Kausik, they are uh, they are migrated from Andhra. Do you know that they came from uh, yes, sir. Two many years before they migrated from Andhra to Tamil Nadu. even not from andhra telangana like that we should know the history of this silk where it has been started well like, like. so if you can see here like silk moth is a what it is a mosquito family is it a sir no which will be looks like a butterfly similar to the butterfly so the next yeah, one insect is family is life of a or is life history of a life history of Silk moth or silk worm. Silk moth is correct one. Silk moth. Did you get my? Yes, sir. Now let us start with that. So if you observe here, this silk moth is a kind of what? It is the insect family. What is that? Yes, sir. It is insect family. family. It is a insect, insect family. family. So silk moth is a kind of insect. Kind of insect. Which will resembles what? It will looks like a what? Similar resembles. Do you know what meaning of resembles? Hari resembles. Resembles means similar. Understand? That is, it's like a. I am resembling you. Means I am looks like you. Like that. Resembles. Understand? So it is looks like a what? Yes, sir. Looks like a butterfly. Similar. Understand? Yeah. Similar. Kind of inter uh, insect which will resemble similar. Resembles. The spelling you should run. R e s e m. B L E S resembles butterfly. It will resembles what? Butterfly. Understand? Butterfly. Let us see here. If you observe the life history of silk moth, is interesting. Very very. It has some interesting because the silk moth is not formed as such from the eggs directly. It is not coming from the eggs. Understand? The silk moth passes through a warm like stage. Understand? Like little bit temperature is more hotter, warm like stage called as larva, or we can call it as caterpillar. What we should call it? Larva. Caterpillar or larva. Understand? Suppose mother kept the eggs. Suppose a silk worm kept the silk moth kept the eggs. Now these eggs. they will increase the temperature warm like stage understand they will the silk moth passes through a warm like stage called as larva means temperature is increases larva this larva are we can called as caterpillar what we should call 
caterpillar 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 this is only mari we used to call it as silkworm what we should call mari silkworm do you understand silkworm the caterpillar only silkworm ah sir yes yes so before those who are laying eggs is called as silk moth is it okay what sir yeah what sir who is laying the eggs means after developing stage like yeah. a adult stage is called as silk moth okay va yes sir yeah so egg, yes sir egg larva will form so after forming the larva understanding which is we can called as silk worm yes. larva is known as what caterpillar or we can called as silk worm silk. and it is nk silk worm called as pupa next stage of this one so it will turns into what it will turns into pupa p u p a pupa pupil yeah pupa 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 p u p a pupa understand yes okay sir. now pupa, pupa. So during okay sir development between the hatching of eggs and formation of adult silk moth understand we can middle it will form larva and as well as pupa stage after this pupa it will form the adult adult silk understanding silk worm that is only called as silk moth what we should call what we should call silk moth silk moth after this silk moth moth so now again the silk moth will lay the eggs so that the eggs will be converting into larva larva will become pupa pupa will become what silk moth silk moth so this is only sir can you please show the picture of uh, pupa yes, sir just later later i will show you the picture first you know, you understand this understand so this is i will yes, show sir. you pictures so first it will form x x it will come so x after what will come yes, sir. it will form into the larva or caterpillar larva so caterpillar will turns into pupa so pupa stage only you can observe which will form the understand silk so the stage yes. where it will form the silk it will form the silk at the where it will form the silk pupa yeah the larva of a silk moth which produces the silk is only called as silk worm so this stage only they will produce the silk worm and uh, sorry silk cloth silk fiber later it will be turns into silk moth like butterfly now can i show you the four pictures of this one yes, yes sir larva pupa silk moth can you can able to identify yes sir yes no? sir no. Yes, Let's sir. go for it. Understanding. So, which stage? Which stage the silk fiber will produce in larva stage? Yes. Understanding. Larva worm stage. Understanding. This uh, uh, silk fiber will produce. So that is only we used to call it as cocoon. What we should call cocoon. Cocoon. Cocoons. So cocoon. What sir? What sir? Cocoon. Cocoon. What? Cocoon. Cocoon. When sir? When sir, it will form larva, cocoon. Larva stage. Larva stage. When it is in caterpillar stage, it will form the cocoons. Okay, mm -hmm. so that is only which to call as silk worms. Now yes, I will show you four diagrams. Clearly, you try to observe very careful. Okay, ma. Now, yes, sir, so yes. to here, what is the first stage, ra? What is the first stage? Lying. Lying what? Lying what? Laying eggs. Understanding. Laying. Eggs. So now you can see here. So, understanding an adult silk moth laying eggs of understanding moth mal and mulberry leaves. Mulberry we can call it. that is in Telugu we can call it as resham resham leaves. In a uh, in English what we should call that leaves means what we are feeding to the feeding to the caterpillars. So that is only called as mulberry leaves. What we should call it? mulberry, mulberry leaves. leaves. Understand? They are only a food for them. Understand? So, see, yes, just, are, you, are you seeing the X here? Are you seeing the X? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, this X yes, is converting. Sir. Yes, this X is converting into a uh, small like beetles. Have you noticed that these beetles are present in our garden also? <laughs> like this garden, big big beetles will be present. Do you understand, or not? Yes, sir. Like a tree. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, like a tree. That's four pounds, sir. Ah, I will say, wait. Yes. So, This is only called as larva or caterpillar. What we should call larva, larva or caterpillar. caterpillar. Now, in this stage, it will start. Uh, yeah, it will start eating the this mulberry leaves more and more, and it will release some kind of a liquid. 
understanding and that liquid is only called as silk fiber what is that called as silk fiber and it will fiber. The liquid and it will make a like a cover surrounding by it it will stay inside and it will be secreting that liquid outside so that is only called as cocoon what we should call cocoon, cocoon. are you able to see the silk fiber like a thread it is there do you understand here like a thread it is there yes sir only called as yes sir so after yes, sir. That, it will turns into like a small butterfly you can see developed well developed here little bit more developed ready to become a butterfly so this stage is only called as pupa what is this stage pupa stage so pupa it will turns into what pupa adult silk moth after that it will turns into adult adult silk moth adult, adult silk moth are the four stages of life life history of understand silk moth so what will happen eggs eggs will be converting into larva larva next pupa yes. pupa of the silk moth so in larva stage only yes. cocoons will form understand larva stage yes. only cocoons will form cocoon so write it like a line after pupa keep arrow and you continue silk moth all of you right that is very very important understand ra yes sir yes no if you observe yes, here, the larva middle two parts x silk moth you leave it middle two parts you take what is that middle two parts pupa and larva stage yes sir no larva so, yes sir and pupa stages in the life history of silk moth are totally different in appearance from the adult silk moth understand so that lifestyle lifestyle in these two stages is completely different compared to this adult silk moth because you can see it is the larva of a silk moth which produces silk understand which produces silk so in which stage silk will produce la in which stage silk will produce in silk fiber silk fiber is produced in larva stage but is it the silk moth is producing larva uh, this uh, uh, silk fiber Silk no sir not produced by silk moth so silk moth is produced in which stage which stage when it is in larva stage understand ra mare sir sir one doubt sir ah. sir uh, they uh, they will boil it no sir that is what sir what ra they will boil that uh, caterpillar that uh, silk worm no sir I'm not understanding. Again, ask me clearly. See what Sir, is the difference. They will boil the. They will boil. Yes, sir. Boil this in the warm and they will get. Study, the... That will study. That is processing. Understanding. Yes, sir. After forming the cocoons, we have to remove it. Correct. It is like a gel. We have to make it a fibers from that. That do you understand it? Here yes, we are not getting silk. Yes, that sir. That balls only will get. That balls cocoons only will get. That cocoons will be collected yes. and it will go for industry process. That is we will study processing the silk. That is we will study. Okay, next class. Now this is only. Okay, so here sir. we will observe. Yes, sir. Middle two stages only very very important and they are totally different in appearance from the adult silk moth because if you will observe here. the larva stays or else this caterpillar stays the silk moth which produces the silk and which is not done by the adult silk moth do you understand ra so adult silk moth yes. cannot produces the silk fiber but it is only produced in which stage larva stage when it is in larva or caterpillar stage only it produces okay va so that is why the larva of the silk moth which produces the silk is only called as what we should call Which will produce silk? Silk wool. Silk wool. Do you understand? Silk wool. So yes, now sir. we can describe the life history of silk moth. Like for example, the female silk moth. The female silk moth, like understanding, lays the eggs. The female silk moth yes. lays the eggs. Lays the eggs. Leaves of what? On the leaves of a which tree? Mulberry. Mulberry. Tree. Understand? Mulberry tree. Which tree? Yes, Mulberry tree. Mulberry tree. Mulberry tree. Mulberry tree. Yam U L mulberry leaves, mulberry trees. Understand? So later, yes, sir. Are you understanding? Second one, the eggs hatching. Hatching means what? Babies will come out from the egg. Understand? So the eggs yes, yes, sir. hatch to form a worm-like larva. Understand? That larva is only called as caterpillar. So this larva of silk moth are called as 
caterpillars are we caterpillars silkworms are silk so called as silkworms so silk the silkworms feed on leaves so, means they will start eating this uh, understanding mulberry leaves continuously even now uh, understanding more and more and more they will start growing bigger in size very very big in size they will grow understand so later yes. the silk is formed in a liquid form in a liquid form in the two glands in the silkworms head so silkworms head it is having a two glands which will secrete the liquid that liquid is only used to called as what silk thread do you understand ramare silk thread yeah yes sir now, when the silkworm is ready to enter the next stage of its development so that what is the next stage what is the next stage of silkworm pupa pupa, pupa. it first weave the net to hold itself understand means it will form a some kind of a net like a birds it will make a some kind of a uh, home for it to hold inside to stay inside so then it will swings its head from side to side in the form of uh, understanding uh, like in the sense of eight eight figure it will uh, uh, twist its head like this so that it will start forming the cocoon like this understand like you can see like small yes, ball it is there so during this development of head the silkworm secretes a silk in liquid form through a tiny openings in its head which will uh, uh, become into a solid like in the sense of exposed to the air like if you will see that uh when while our mother making any kind of uh, uh like what we can say like semi a paisam or something when it is making it will be looks like a liquid when it will keep it for uh, air it will become like a solid yes or no suppose uh, yes, rice sir. rice yes, sir, yes, sir. while your mother cooks the rice it will be very soft if you kept in a uh, atmosphere after 5 days 6 days you will see it will become like a raw stone yes or no yes sir very hard like this this also same thing when the silk is secreted from its mouth it is a liquid one so later because of exposing to the air it will become like a, a solid so that is only we used to called as silk fiber what we should call silk fiber, fiber. understand fiber. so later yes. the silk worm covers itself completely by the silk fibers like forming the cocoons so the silky covering spun by the silk worms of silk moth is only called as what we should call cocoons what we should call cocoons cocoons means like cocoons. the I have shown you in the picture, correct? The one like ball kind of shape is forming. So that is only called as cocoon. Yes, sir. So this cocoon. cocoon is made by silkworm to protect its development as a pupa. So why it is making cocoon means actually not to give. Yeah, humans are depending on me. I need to give silk. That is not the reason. It is actually turning into pupa. So to protect itself, by the time it cannot eat food, when it is converting into the pupa, it cannot eat food. So that to protect itself, understanding, it will make a some kind yeah. of a shell around 